A group of Singapore skin doctors and scientists are on a mission to cut down cases of severe eczema by a third in three years' time. They are part of a project that has received a $10 million grant to look into the causes of eczema and the kinds of therapies or diagnostic tools that work best. For more on the atopic dermatitis research program for patients, I'm joined by Principal Investigator Dr. Yu Yik Wing. He is consultant in charge of the eczema clinic at the National Skin Centre. Hi, Dr. Yu. Nice to have you with us. Uh, first, let's take a closer Hi, look at the project itself. Why is ADEP such a major milestone? This is the first time a skin thematic study has obtained a national level large collaborative grant and it's an important milestone that eczema is being recognised as an important skin condition of huge disease burden. Atypic dermatitis or eczema is a common but heterogeneous skin condition and this is especially among Asians which is a heterogeneous population. Our study is timely to understand the disease mechanism, trajectories and prognosis and this is especially important in the era of emerging therapeutics for uh, eczema, which is which allows us for better resources planning. So if it's such an important milestone, tell us then about the diagnostic tool that you are developing and how it then helps the study of eczema. We would call it more of a prognostic tool. So essentially, this uh, devices that we are actually co-developing with our engineers and scientists allow us to emit a very specific light to the superficial layers of skin, enable us to study the chemical composition as well as the superficial structure of skin without actually uh, allowing our patients to undergo a more invasive sampling of the skin. This actually allows us to actually understand what are the underlying skin changes as our eczema patients go through very targeted therapies or uh, systemic treatment. Mm, okay, interesting. Uh, just for our knowledge, what are the usual triggers for eczema? How much of, is, of, it, of it is genetic in nature? And also, what does obesity have uh, to do with the study? So uh, for triggers itself, I think that a common misconception is that uh, a common misconception is that we underestimate the role of environmental triggers. So important uh, triggers include heat, sweat and dust can aggravate eczema. And this is actually uh, an important step to un better understand how this trigger actually affects eczema itself. Uh, on the issue of uh, understanding association obesity, there are preliminary studies and various um, basic science studies that actually shows an association between obesity and worsening of eczema or risk of eczema. So this stud part of this study actually help us understand what is the relationship between these very two common chronic conditions and perhaps allow us to have intervention to have primary and or secondary prevention of eczema itself. Uh, so it's not always genetic. What about the heavy use of disinfectants? We, we, we all you know, use that during the viral infections such as COVID and hand, foot and mouth disease. Do they play a part? Yes, so uh, back to the point on genetics, yes, still uh, based on our understanding, uh, eczema is still heavily influenced by genetic factors, mm -hmm. but our, under our current understanding of the genetic factors actually only explains up to 25 to 30% of mm. the risk of eczema. And heavy use of these infectors, actually recent studies have shown that increased frequency of hand washing or the use of this infectant actually increases the risk of hand eczema up to 1.5 to 2 times. Uh, of having hand eczema. All right, thank you for clarifying that uh, genetic link as well. Um, I'm wondering, uh, we looked at the physical effects of it. What about uh, a person's mental health? How have you seen eczema impacting somebody's mental health? Uh, yes, so, so eczema is actually a, a, a common skin condition of huge disease burden. So some of our patients with eczema actually commonly complains of each. They have poor sleep. And oftentimes it can affect their mental health because of the, the visible parts of their skin are often affected by eczema. It affects their self-esteem. Certain misconceptions uh, among the public feel that the eczema patients are often might be infectious when it's actually not. So they often uh, stigmatize or ostracize. Yeah. In fact, a recent study that was published this year in February actually shows that having eczema gives you two times the risk of having depression itself. 
So uh, eczema actually has a profound impact on uh, mental health. Yeah, it seems like uh, there's still a lot uh, to be done in terms of education in, in this area. So we do want to thank you so much, Dr. Yu Yik Wing, for being with us. Uh, Dr. Yu is from the National Skin Centre.